What is going on guys? Elite Chris here and today I'm bringing you another Farming Simulator 2017 tutorial. Um, most of the time I say 17, sometimes I say 2017, and in today's video I said 2017, but that is besides the point. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to use the header trailers. They are actually quite easy to use and uh, can be quite annoying at the same time. Um, so yeah, without uh, further ado, let's get right into it. Obviously, I will show you where to buy them at, just in case you did not know. They are right here where it says header trailer. So uh, I hope you know, but uh, there is uh, three, uh, four options. The Crone, the Leguan, the Leguan Quattro 40, and the Transport HR9. I'm sure I said one of them names wrong. That is all right. I like this one the most. Um, I don't think it works with the biggest headers. But uh, it is uh, really nice for like, uh, up to probably about uh, 35 feet, maybe. I think it's I think it's 25. It might work for 25. I think this is a 25 footer. But uh, yeah, um, you can kind of tell by how long it is what it'll work for. So you know you don't want a you know a big 45 footer. It's gonna end up going into the tire, or you have to like stick it really far off the back. You want to kind of like line the center up with the right here. So uh, I have the Fent harvester with the uh, Fent header, obviously. So we'll start it up. You can change the color of the uh, header trailer. Wasn't sure what uh, harvester I was going to be using. On my one world, I have a Fent one, and I just made it the Fent colors. The yellow is green, and the rims are red to match the Fent. But uh, anyways, guys, all you do is drive up to it, and I just want to show you this real quick. You want to make sure that these, the higher part is the side that is farther away from where you're loading, and you want to, as I said before, try to center it up as best as you can. Doesn't have to be perfect but it is really easy so we're gonna drive up you can switch to first person if you want I like third person because you can see where everything lines up so I usually come to this side and make sure it's lined up like I said just drive straight on up it'll uh, grab a little bit start to go forward and uh, you just drive to about the point where it drops you can back up a little bit if you want. If you want to get it nice and centered, you can do that. It usually doesn't matter. You just hit, uh, make sure you switch to the header and uh, detach it. Back up and shut your harvest off if you don't have auto start. And uh, yeah, guys, that is it for loading the header. I will show you how to unload it because sometimes it can be a hassle, like I said. So yeah, you can, uh, I'll show you real quick. You can drive around. It will not not fall off and watch as I say that it falls off but uh, as you can see you can drive around pretty rough and uh, yeah it won't fall off you don't need straps or nothing like that as you can see that corner was pretty sharp did not fall off that was another sharp corner did not fall off um, I'll crash into something just to show you there you go alright guys so uh, remember when I told you it does not fall um, unfortunately it fell on me so I would definitely be a little carefuler than I said, but um, it was because I hit that pole over there and then I like turned really sharp afterwards and it kind of fell off. Um, I will not show you on camera that because it was a little embarrassing because as I was saying, as you can see it doesn't normally fall off. It uh, just kind of like barrel rolled right off, so I don't know what happened. That doesn't happen very often, but again I would be careful just in case. You don't want that to happen to you because I did have to reset it because it flipped upside down. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to take the header off of the trailer. Simply drive up and attach. And sometimes, as you can see, you cannot back up. So just pull forward, make sure you're kind of on it. Hop out of that, hop into the header trailer, and just drive it forward, and it'll come right off. It uh, kind of gets stuck on, uh, kind of gets stuck on these things. I don't know why, but it does. But uh, it's okay because uh, it's pretty easy to un, uh, take it off. And also, guys, these header trailers, just a FYI, uh, mostly for transporting it uh, long distances or uh, if you want to put your header away nice and neat. Um, but uh, you can uh, hook them up to the back of all the harvesters, I believe. Oh, wow, it fit on here nice and, nice and neat. But yeah, you can uh, hook them up to this right here to uh, drive them on the road. It keeps it so the header obviously doesn't... Uh, you know, get in the way of oncoming traffic. A little easier to transport. So yeah, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I rambled on quite a bit about some stuff that doesn't matter. I do apologize for that. But if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more videos, make sure you click that like button. 
And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Get, 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 get,